where ECWA hits your town. Be sure to check it out and for just $4.99 a month right from the website there, the ECWA network unlimited access to pretty much the entire ECWA library including the last two Super 8 Chick Fight tournaments and so much more. And I'll tell you what, there are some shows on there you definitely want to go back and re-watch over and over again. This might be one of them because this one we're teaching people about the cosmos, Brady. These people from Woodbury don't know anything. We got planets, universes. I know there were multiple universes. Somebody's walking away with a title belt over there. Look at these two women jockeying for power. Like I said, they know each other so well. Tasha Steeles would love to send a statement here tonight and send the champion home packing in the first round. Maybe that would have been a title shot. Got some fans there. I think they're cheering for Diana. I don't know if they're cheering for Tasha. I thought they were saying Tasha. I don't know. Unless they were laughing at her for falling. Look at this. Oh, oh. Diana goes behind with the arm there, with the arm bar. Reversal by Tasha Steeles. The, uh, the the women's revolution has been kind of the, the buzz of wrestling for the last year or so. Uh, some of these matches that these women are putting on on TV, and not just WWE TV, but pretty much any company you tune into, both in the U.S. and Japan, wherever the case may be, uh, the women are lighting it up. The main event in pay-per-views, they're going cage matches, they're doing things that you just never saw anymore. Diana, on one of the interviews on TheBradyHicks.com this past week, uh, she talked about some of the things that she'd like to accomplish and being such a proud member of this women's revolution on the independent scene. I, I have a feeling it's just a matter of time before Deanna is no longer with us. 
she's definitely going places, Brady. Uh, you know, nobody's been able to figure her out here. And, you know, this is just like a stepping stone almost for bigger and better things for her. And you mentioned Japan for her in 2017. That's going to be huge. Yeah, I believe she may be working with starter promotion from what I heard, Brady. Well, Tasha's going to whip her into the corner hard. But uh, Deanna's downfall being spread herself too thin there. For those that don't know, the starter promotion is the, is the number one women's promotion over in Japan. That's the one where you really want to be at. You know, we also got to say this every month that these people need to come out to these shows because you never know who you're going to see for the last time. And you never know who you're also going to see for the first time. Possibly the first and the last. You never know. Each and every month, ECWA puts out future WWE superstars. Very yes, you trying to be slick over there. What are you doing? Side headlock takedown. Is that my pretzel? Brady trying to be all cryptic over there. Somebody brought me one from catering. <laughs> it's funny because mine's missing. That's because you ate it. Again, look at this. We saw this last month against Mary Bill. Always adding moves to the repertoire. I was starting to say, guys, uh, my biggest fear for Deanna, it's not that she can't beat all these women. It's that she may be spreading herself too thin, too thin as she gets out there, man. I don't, I don't know, Brady. I, I don't know if I agree with that. Every time I see her, that she's here, she pretty much can dominate pretty much anybody she's in the ring with. Hard oh. into the corner, and Tasha Steeles gets the boot up. Deanna goes down hard. I just, in a tournament like this, where some of you are at least somewhat familiar with Deanna Plaza and her background and what she can do, three of which actually coming from this company, not to mention women that are trained with her. I just. Well, there I agree. I, don't know. I, you know, I do think she's at a disadvantage at this tournament because not only you know she's she's the previous winner, but she's the champion. So everybody's gunning for her. Whereas normally in these tournaments, everybody's just trying to get to the finals. They're not gunning for one specific person, but they're all looking at her direction. Of course, head these girls might even want to come back the next time ECWA runs again and might possibly want a title shot. Yeah, when's the next show, Brady? Well, we're looking at December, I believe it's December 3rd. Let's get the calendar. Our Toys for Todd show. Right back here at the Woodbury Heights Community Center. It's on December 5th, in case you were wondering. The uh, full list of dates for 2017 also available at ecwaprowrestling.com and don't forget the social media accounts as well ecwa east coast wrestling association and also on our website i believe we have our 2017 dates i just said that the entire year wow. what other companies doing that well a lot of other companies right there. I mean, they release them as they come you know hey we're having a show next week uh, but anyway, back in the ring, Deanna Peraza whipping. Tasha oh. steals hard. Tasha sweeps the uh, legs there. And Deanna just eats the corner turnbuckle. The uh, Twitter, by the way, at ECWA Wrestling 67. Really smart move right there by Tasha Steeles. And what about the Instagram? Get her out of there. Come on. Well, I don't know. Who's asking you? I mean, I don't think we have one. Who's following us on Twitter? I don't know. Come on, come on. I don't know who does Get this. Out of out of <laughs> You're plugging it. Well, I know that we have one. That's a smart move right here by Tasha Steele. She's using the ropes to her advantage, Brady. Tasha Steele's a very incredibly smart woman wrestler. She's actually a very intelligent wrestler. I don't mean to, to demean her in that way. I just, uh, the way Tasha Steele's methodically approaches matches. Uh, another one I, I, I talked to her with dbradyhicks.com and vocnation.com last week. And uh, her number one focus is uh, sending a message to Deanna Peraza here in this tournament. Lazy cover right there, almost cast it. If Tasha Steeles knows anything about Deanna Peraza, it's that that Fujiwara armbar could be right around the corner. Just be careful, be rare. And the cover by Deanna, one, two, Tasha somehow kicks out. Come on, Deanna, get her out of there now. Come on. Come on, Deanna, finish her. Oh. Huge 
back elbow. Big elbow right to the face. Jumping on her back with a sleeper hole right there, Brady. Deanna backs her into the corner. What does she have planned? She's going to send Tasha Steeles into the ropes reversal. Fireman's carry. Deanna's not Deanna having the fireman's carry, though. Letting her way out of it, a fireman's carry of her own. Well, these two women seemingly so oh, evenly no. matched. Beautiful kick. Roddy kicked to the side of the face. I gotta say, Tasha Steele is, you know, win or lose, she's fared very well so far in this match. She almost had it right there, Brady. I thought that was it. Finnegan is on his way down for three. I'm actually wondering if Tasha even cares about this tournament or if she really just wants to hurt the honor. I mean, that could be. There she goes, she's going for it, oh, it Brady. Struck it out as a DDT, but she walked her way in there. Unbelievable. Tasha not going to be able to get out, so Deanna reveals it. Unbelievable. Again, the QBR arm bar coming out of nowhere. And Deanna Brazo has now won four straight ECWA Women's Super 8 Chick Fight Tournament rounds. That's four in a row. Three last year, one so far here tonight. She'll need six if she wants to walk out of here with her second trophy in two years. And as I said, Deanna Brazo is battling history in a way. Nobody has ever in the history of men's and women's tournaments uh, gone in as the tournament champion and won it the second year in back to back. Nor has a champion ever gone in and won the tournament while also holding the belt. Well, Deanna wants to make history, and that's what ECWA does. Makes history. Tasha Steele's tried everything right there, Brady. Can't call her for trying. She was on her A game tonight, Brady. Well, that's why we got to sit and think. I mean, did Tasha really come to win this tournament, or did she just want to hurt Deanna? Did she just come to try to hurt Deanna's ego? I don't know, but she looks like she could come unhinged at any moment. Looks to me like the arm could be hurting her a little. What an incredible night of action so far.